Many people who work for the Utah Transit Authority say it's like a second family. That's because the job of getting people to their locations on time can be stressful. I've seen some pedestrians that will stand on the middle of the tracks and hold their arms out. Um, that's traumatic. It's a trauma Annika lives with every day. The former train operator turned track supervisor struck and killed a pedestrian. I still feel like I'm broken. Annika is not alone. Since 2015, 23 people were hit and killed by UTA track streetcars. 52% are classified as suicides. In that same time frame, 26 people were killed by front runner trains. UTA officials say 61% of those were suicides. UTA officials adding three pedestrians were hit and killed by a bus, all accidental. When you have had an accident where you did hit someone, it brings a lot of that back. Stepping out of the darkness wasn't easy for Annika. She says the therapy provided by the employee assistance program wasn't helping. It didn't feel like they understood at all what I was dealing with. Annika turned to her extended family at work to help her through her struggles. Little did she know she would be called upon to provide emotional support for a fellow tracks operator. About six months ago, uh, a gentleman used my train to take his own life. Phil says he did everything in his power to prevent the tragic incident. You're on constant vigilance of, of being on the lookout for any movement, uh, constantly scanning the rails side to side. Following that fateful day, Phil found support in Annika, and his UTA family sent him messages of love, even this care package. The last thing that someone needs to feel is guilt for feeling the way they do after everything else was already taken out of their control. And, and the weight of it, um, it rests right on your shoulders on a daily basis. It's that weight UTA police officers are familiar with. The transit officers are the first line of defense against terror threats to the transit system. They also deal with passengers struggling with mental health and unruly riders under the influence. We're kind of a jack of all trades and um, the longer you do this job, the more specialized you become in each one of those. The department provides a chaplain for emotional support following a traumatic incident. When we've talked to drivers, when they said, well, I don't understand why I hit them. They, they ignored the signs, they ignored the arms, they drove around it, and I just don't know if they, people understand. They can't stop. Operators like Francis Rendon will tell you, not every outcome is tragic. An operator must be vigilant when behind the engine of a train weighing close to 300,000 pounds. And Rendon's vigilance saved the life of a seven-year-old autistic boy. When I started walking and behind the wheel, on the inside part of the wheel of the Comet car, he was hiding. I was crying so hard, and he was just happy to see me. And I wanted to kill him myself because <laughs> he scared me so badly.